Solving lines really quick. If we had a line like this, y equals negative 3x plus 7. In order to graph this guy, pretty simple. You start at 7. seven. So you start at that number, at positive 7. And this number over here, it's supposed to be a fraction, but I don't see the fraction, so what do I do? Oh, I'll put it over 1. So this means, this is the slope. This tells you how far up or down it's going. So which direction is this? It's going to go down. So from this point, it's going to go down. So how much is it going to go down by? Three. Down 3, and then to the right 1. So from here, I go down 3, 1, 2, 3, and to the right 1. And I can keep going down and just keep doing that if I want to. You only have to do that once. I just do it so many times because I'm doing it for the camera. Thinking of you guys in YouTube's land. No, I care about you guys. But not as much as I care about my views on YouTube. Just kidding. Joking. All right, so that's this line right here y equals negative 3x plus 7. Now if I had another graph like this, say 2x plus, let's make that 2x plus 3y equals 6. Now you can rearrange this thing to make it look like y equals, but here's another way to graph this line. I'm going to do this in blue. Basically, when we put our hand over x, that means we're just going to make it to 0. So when x is equal to 0, so along here, when x is equal to 0, you put your hand down, what is y going to equal to? Six. Well, no, 3 times something equals 6. So in this case, to see this, when x is 0, y is equal to 2. So when x is 0, y is equal to 2. If I put my hand over the y, that means y is equal to 0. So 2 times something equals a 6. So in this case, 2 times 3 is equal to 6. So when y is equal to 0, what is x equal to? Three. So when y is equal to 0, x is equal to 3. I have my two points. I didn't need to worry about subtracting 2x and dividing by 3. Not necessary. And now I just connect my two points. Johan, is that thing still recording? Yeah. And now you saved yourself some time. And all you got to do is to see where these guys intersect, and they intersect right there. Now, I don't know the exact answer for that. We're going to go over that in the next chapter. So it looks like it's maybe two and a third and maybe a half or something like that. I have no idea because I just made up these two problems right here. But you're just looking to see where they intersect. And wherever they intersect, that is your answer. So any questions on graphing this guy here? None? Niente? Nada? Zip, zero, zilch. Good. Well, so I hope you enjoy. That's the lesson. Graphing it and just see where they intersect. So that just means they both cross right here. The line is at this point. Both lines, I should say, are at that point right there. The end.